What's up guys? I'm Tony. I'm Eric. With that username though. Today we're going to be doing a little giveaway for our subscribers and for our general viewers, I guess. Mostly subscribers. No, subscribers. You, you have yeah. to be subscribed to win. Yeah, you so, got to be subscribed to win. And so. then also comment down below to let us know you're subscribed. We're going to pick the winner out of the comment section in this video and our subscriber base. Well, that being said, the giveaway is going to be uh, Dead Rising 2 High Stakes Edition. It will not come with the game, so this is just the poker set. So even if you're not a gamer, um, you know, play some poker with your friends. It comes with two decks of cards, two dealer chips, four sets of uh, regular poker chips, and five die. Um, we'll get the... What? Dice. No, five die. What five die? Because, because you have five single die. You don't have five. This would be a dice. You don't have five dice. You have five die. Anyways. You have four die. Oh. Sorry, I threw somebody's die. Uh, anyway, so comment below. Let us know you're subscribed. Um, as soon as we hit 200 subscribers is when we'll pick the winner. So it may take some time. Hopefully not. That's only 30 more. So uh, be sure to subscribe and comment below for your chance to win this. Share it. If you see it, let your other friends get up on it so you can get your hands on this while if you guys play poker or whatever. So share the video. Unless you don't want to, because then you have a greater chance of winning. But but not, because you have to subscribe. You're still going to have 1 in 200 chance, really. Yeah. Because once we hit 200, regardless of if it's your friends or not. Yeah. It's really, if you if your friends subscribe, you have a better chance, because you can say, hey, give it to me if you win. So Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. So today we're going to be touching base on uh, phobias, uh, fears, or... Uh, quirks that you might first run into when starting a YouTube channel as a video uploader. So something that, some things that might make make you uncomfortable, some things that might make you reconsider uploading videos. Now that being said, go ahead with your first. My first phobia is people. What I mean by people is. I don't really like going out, like I can't go out and do an interview or anything like that. Because I did go with Eric when we did the Avora video and I was kind of interviewing the guy when we were, or one of the people that I was driving with. And, you know, it's I'm not a outgoing people person, I won't go out and say start the conversation. Usually I have somebody come up to me and break the ice and then, then I'll continue to conversate with them. And with that being said, that's why, you know, if you're doing something like that, you got to make sure that you're able to interact with people, um, engage in full conversation, because there's tons of different subjects and anything like that, that could, yeah, that's one of my phobias, just people in general. I'm not an outgoing, I don't want to say you're, you're babbling on, on the same thing. Uh, <laughs> and actually, uh, I'll go ahead and start off with that one, being that I cut Tony off, is that that was one of the things that I had to pay attention to is how I talk. Um, I wanted to convey the proper messages without rambling on about the same subject matter. And I also wanted to convey it in a manner that I wasn't using filler words. Um, and, er. And so... It was just, it, it's something that I keep in the back of my mind when speaking to the camera is that you have to think about your sentences before you say them and take your time to structure a proper sentence so that people don't look at you and think, oh, he's just an unintelligent prick. Um, I may be a prick, but I'm somewhat educated, somewhat. I, I don't, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he wants to call it. <laughs> so did I, but anyways. So. Uh, yeah, so that that's kind of one of the other one of the things that I've thought about as a early video uploader is that sentences have to be structured properly in order to get proper content matter sent to the camera. On that note, I would have to agree with Eric. 
English is my second language, and when I get nervous, I start stuttering and rambling and, you know, stepping on my own words, I guess you would say, over and over and over. But it's something that I am, as I am as a person, is still working on. Sometimes I just have to slow it down, think what I want to say, and it actually will come out somewhat in English. <laughs> somewhat in English? Yeah, somewhat in English. Or just in, you know, being grammar... No, I don't even want to use it. Just being correct. You know, I don't want to say politically correct, but just like Eric said, sentence structure, the overall just structure of it is actually good. You guys understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying it, but I'm going to little just speeding through it, trying to get this review or whatever video we are posting out. Just get it done and over with. We want you to be able to understand us clearly and know what's going on. So, knowing what's going on kind of doesn't relate to anything that I'm about to say. And so the second thing I noticed is that I hate the sound of my voice. I would record the video, I'd start editing it, I'd go back and record the video because I didn't like the way I sounded. And so, just early on, you are going to listen to the videos, and you will hate the way you sound. I guarantee you. This is not the men's warehouse. I'm not going to guarantee you like the way you sound or look. If you hate yourself, that sucks. Men's warehouse doesn't guarantee you the way you sound. No. But guarantee you the way you look, though. If you're funny looking. <laughs> you fucked. You fucked. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was one thing that I know Tony had also had said, that he hated the way he sounds, and, you know, let's all agree with that. Yep, I would. <laughs> I'd second that. Going through editing videos, countless, countless hours of footage, I was like, wow, do I really sound like that? I hate it. But as time went on and things progressed with me on the channel with Eric, I got used to my voice. It's just... You know, going through, oh, hey, this is just like another video that I'm watching on YouTube. You don't think twice about it. It's something that you get over eventually. It'll take time. It doesn't happen overnight. Well, I guess it could. just depends on the type of person you are. But eventually you'll get over it. And it's a good thing to yourself, too, because then you can go sing karaoke at a bar and you won't think twice about it. <laughs> so what's your third? I forget. I forget. My third fear slash phobia would be, I guess, getting criticized. When Eric had first invited me into his channel, I said, well, that's one of my fears. I don't want people out there criticizing me. And uh, I guess I just didn't like it, but Eric said, you know, point blank, if you're, you're gonna, you gotta get ready for this. Because there's always going to be people out there that hate you, that hate you because of you. There's nothing you can do about it, and with that being said, it took me a little bit of time to actually think about it, but after, you know, some time of thinking, I said, screw it, I'm going to go ahead and do it, because there's always going to be people out there that are going to put you down, always try to correct you, and granted, you will make mistakes in the video about, you know, giving the wrong information or anything like that, but then you got the people that will say, Fuck you. Go die. Go blah, blah, blah. That hasn't happened to you yet, has no, it? No, it hasn't happened to me yet, but not a lot of people comment on my videos. I do a lot of reviews. It, the comments down below are mostly just questions about the product, or them not really criticizing me, but it's hard to interpret a message online. But them correcting me on the product themselves. Oh yeah, this actually has that, it's not this or that. It's just things like that that kind of slightly irk me, but then if I am incorrect and I know I'm incorrect, I will actually go in and you know fix the error. But if I know I'm correct and they think they're correct, then I just want to go tell them to go fly a kite. But, you know, <laughs> that's just me. So the last thing, and this kind of touches base on what Tony just said, last thing that I had found as an early uploader, and this goes back to probably the first six months of steady uploading. So I started uploading in March, so talking March till the end of the year, uh, roughly when Tony had 
joined, and that was um, that I would, and I know some of you subscribers found me this way, I would send messages to recent players on the video games list, tell them to check out the channel. And I had been messaged back by multiple people, um, you know, go drink bleach, go kill yourself, you suck, fuck off, screw you, um, I'm reporting your ass for spam. Uh, <laughs> spam. That's some good stuff, though. I ain't never had it. He's not American. Does it look like I eat unhealthy shit? Nobody wants to see that. Good shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Edit that out. Um. Edit. So I had been messaged a lot of uh, hateful things towards the beginning of the YouTube channel, and, you know, let, let's be honest, I mean, we're still actually at a very early stage of the YouTube process. Um, you know, we are getting, we are seeing more subscribers periodically than we did, say, three months ago, and our, our views are up on a monthly basis, but we're still early on, but I, I'm referring to the very beginning stages very early on when I was by myself, still trying to figure out what my schedule was going to be, figure out what I was going to upload, um, there was a lot of hate. And I would wager that there's going to continue to be hate. There's always going to be trolls, haters, and jackasses that comment on anybody's video. And that's, that stands true with people that have 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers, or 500. That, or One more million. I'm just, I just wanted to say that. Oh. <laughs> and so, really, just be you and ignore those people. But you need to prepare yourself mentally for any negative comment that's going to come your way. And there's no real good way to go about it other than just accepting the fact that you know, the people that do hate on your videos are going to be the, the people that are really unhappy with their lives in general, that don't want to see you succeed because you're putting in your hard work. And, you know, with that being said, I think that kind of wraps up, honestly, yeah, I think I agree. Five, five things. Because I think, five, we, yeah, I think yeah, we five. touch base kind of similar on, yeah. on two and two yeah. for each other, not knowing what, what each other, what each other we're going to say. What we were going to say. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, that wraps up the five things. A um, couple things here at the end of the video. Don't forget to check us out. Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. All those handles are in the description down below. Go to the About page. Be sure to, I mean, you don't necessarily have to, but it's appreciated on our end if you donate some money to help us out. Um, buy products for your reviews, yeah. buy parts for the cars, um, whatever it may be. The, the money will go towards making this channel better, yeah. uh, providing you guys better content. And um, then also be sure to subscribe for your chance to win the uh, Dead Rising 2 High Stakes Edition poker set um, that is new and we'll ship it out as soon as we hit that 200. Comment below. Share the video to make sure that other people subscribe as well. Yeah. Other than that, I think this wraps up the video. Thanks for watching till the end, guys. And that's it. My feet are cold, so I think I'm, I'm going home. All right. Later. Have a good one. Au revoir.